right, you know what, park it for a week. Mm-hmm. It's going to be something that's really involved. And I think a lot of people that would actually do it to care about the community wouldn't want to switch off. They'd want to kind of be fully encompassed in it. Yeah. But, you know, don't have, you know, can't facilitate doing a meeting in the middle of the day when they're working a job or, you know. Is it, um, don't they get paid an allowance for every time they attend meetings? Or am I mistaken? There's, it depends on the council and it depends on, but yeah, a lot of it, a lot of it is voluntary. Okay. So it depends on like your level of responsibility and all that, but yeah, whereas Anna knows more about it than I do. <laughs> but I suppose it's time as well. Like if you can't take, you know, if they're quite rigid in times where. Yeah. So, do, but you're, yeah. Yeah. So it's both the money and the time commitment. So, but. What I'm hearing is it's kind of you could be you could be better remunerated for the role, but also it could be much more flexible so you could actually balance it around your life. Mm. Yeah. Great. Okay. That's really helpful, guys. Um so then I'm going to change topic slightly and just talk about, so we've, we've started to touch on this kind of, you were talking Millie about the um, idea of TV advertising, making, making that a lot more accessible. So I'm curious about where you find out information. So if the LGA were going to do an advertising campaign or someone else was, where should we advertise to get more representation? I would say social media. Mm-hmm. Potentially like we, we do a lot of kind of paid and non-paid advertising on social media and you can target demographics that you want to target and that kind of thing. Because I don't think necessarily TV advertising is, is so expensive and it, you know, it's probably that kind of role is niche. So it's probably not going to appeal to everyone and everyone has like catch up TV and stuff. And I know I fast forward through adverts, but on social media, everyone's on the phones all the time. So if something pops up, the amount of times that I've clicked it and obviously, you know, things like when you've been talking about something, I was talking about a new cat food and I got like ad after ad about cat food. So you'll target people that are actually looking at things, looking into issues and it'll kind of target back. So I think kind of targeted like social media or Google advertising. Yeah. I think that's probably you kind of more return on investment, but actually will capture the people that it doesn't capture yeah at the moment and so in terms of channels where where would you hang out on social media like which platforms do you use mainly instagram okay bit of facebook but that's more for work um but yeah typically more instagram but things like twitter are great because things like that where it has it can reach such a big audience with the likes of hashtags and things, it's not necessarily, it's just kind of speaking on that person's level as well, rather than and making it more accessible and kind of speaking on a level with obviously the people that they want to attract. Great. Thank you. And what about the rest of you? Where do you go to find out your information? I mean, back in the day, we used to have local newspapers. They were pretty good, uh, pretty good source of information and I think that's lacking at the moment with all the cuts that have been in place that a lot of these local newspapers are not able to produce uh, hard copies because if a post dropped through the letterbox it was more than uh, likely that you're going to open it and read Mm -hmm. about it because people are more concerned about local issues than national issues so it's a shame that we don't have them as much more accessible as back in the day. And I think if they can, you know, did that again and just through newspapers, I mean, they were very good for local information, very good for local job adverts and this and the other. They were a very, very good source of information. And more than likely, almost everyone read those papers. Mm. Yeah. And you were talking earlier about your local Facebook group where you yeah. share recommendations about traders. So do you think that yeah. kind of thing would be? It does useful? help. It does help. I mean, uh, the trouble is, again, like in this forum, 
we don't have to talk about politics in that forum because if you do, <laughs> the administrator kicks you out. So, which is good because it's very non-political. Okay. Uh, we've got our councillors, obviously, who've been locally elected, who come in and address all the local issues. But what we try to do is to keep it uh, to be non-political. Okay. Um, I mean, there's been young, ki- well, young teenagers uh, joining the group and asking for local jobs. Okay, I'm in lockdown. I'm looking for a small job to wash people's cars. I'm looking to be a dog walker. I'm looking to be doing this and the other. And then we've also utilized the same page when students from a local secondary school have advertised offering tuition to other kids, quick fee. So, I mean, it's been kind of our get together in a way, not that we know who the people are advertising or putting these, posting these messages, but within the local community, we feel like we've got something to talk about. Yeah. And again, the other thing at the moment, I think people are bored and they haven't got much going on in their lives. They kind of talk. Sometimes the information posted is very irrelevant, but I think people have been on follow for too long. I mean, if you can imagine, some people have been on follow for a year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They haven't got anything else going on in their lives. They're suffering from lockdown fatigue. But in a way, when you read some of the posts, you smile because you're like, oh my God, the things people post. But it kind of brings us together as a community. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Um, Rosanna, Georgina, any thoughts on where, where you find out information and where we should post to get people into finding um, out about this? I completely agree with um, Millie about the social media. Yeah. I don't even watch regular TV anymore. I don't have a TV license. Yeah. So to have a TV advert maybe might not be the best idea for like a younger audience to be involved. Yeah. Um, and then also this might sound a bit odd, <laughs> but possibly even like advertising on like beer mats to get a younger audience uh, interested in politics, just because like in like a young like student bar, maybe that could get the message out a bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Rosanna? Anything to add on that? Yeah, I... Yeah. I guess I do agree with social media, but I, my like question mark about it is like, then are you advertising for people to join political parties? Because are you allowed to do that? Like, if you're not the political party, you can have, I don't don't know. So like that, I don't know, but, um, also, I mean, the only other thing I agree though, I get like, I always click on Instagram ads. I'm such a sucker for them. (laughs) Um, but also, um, like other community things that people do places like food banks or like school government or whatever maybe those people who are all who might be young who are already engaged with their community if you sort of get them mm-hmm. in and those places often have like local hubs actual right. locations that you can put things but yeah. thank you thank you very much sorry i'm just gonna i'm just gonna move us on uh so i am gonna share with you some uh tweets which are um like mock-ups that the local government association have done so don't worry too much about the platform obviously these could be repurposed for instagram or facebook or whatever um, but what we're really interested in here is your reactions to them and which bits of them appeal to you and which bits of them don't appeal so much so I'm just going to spend the next sort of 10 15 minutes on this and then we're going to go back into the main group So this is the first one. So just take a minute to look at it. And so we're interested in your initial reactions, whether they appeal or not, which bits appeal the most or the least, and do you think they would persuade you or someone like you to find out more? Um, I feel like from like a design standpoint, it might help to have the statistic on the image. At the uh-huh. same- that's just what I thought initially and then I also thought the second one like just looking at it now like just glancing it looked a bit wordy maybe like I I probably wouldn't read all of it yeah (laughs) that's just my opinion (laughs) 
Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, as as honest as you can be, it's going to be much more useful. So thank you. Um, um, I sorry, I can't tell if I'm interrupting. 